Hello, welcome back to a new video. So today I want to make a video guide on how to turn your GoPro into a wireless webcam and link it to Streamlabs. This has been something I've been trying to figure out how to do for a long time and it took me far too long to work out how to do it. So I wanted to make a guide to explain how easy it is to set up. So there's going to be three parts to this video. Number one, how to set up your own RTMP server that's running on your PC. Number two, how to connect your GoPro to it and link it to Streamlabs and also the potential IRL possibilities of this setup. Because we're going to be connecting the GoPro to Streamlabs wirelessly, theoretically, if we're using separate internet sources, we could just take the GoPro out of the house or out of the room and do IRL streaming using the GoPro with the computer turned on at home running the stream. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to download Mona server, which is a lightweight mini RTMP server that you can host on your own computer. Now, when you've downloaded it, you'll get a folder that looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to go into www and then right click new folder. And then you want to create one called ABC and then click on ABC. And then inside of that, you want to make one called XYZ. Now we do that because ABC is going to be the name of the server and then XYZ is going to be the stream key for the server. It doesn't have to be ABC or XYZ, it could be anything you want, it just has to be something easy to remember. And then after you've made those folders, go back to the main part of the folder and then click on Mona server, the application, and then it will open this kind of terminal window with a bunch of text. And this just means the server is now running. You can see mine's already connected to my Streamlabs and it will say one client. Okay, so next to connect your GoPro to Streamlabs using this RTMP server, you're going to have to first of all make a new media file in Streamlabs. It might be called media source on OBS, but for me it was called media file and it's got a bunch of these files here and you just press add source and then you go into the properties, you disable all of these checkboxes because we don't want a local file, we want to use the URL. So for the URL, you have to put RTMP colon forward slash forward slash, and then you need to enter your IP address by doing IP config in the terminal thing on the computer. You have to enter the IPv4 address of your IP address and then forward slash ABC, which is the stream name and then forward slash XYZ, which is the stream key. And also put RTMP into the input format to make sure all of these are clicked off and you can change the reconnect delay or the network buffering speeds. I don't think it really matters. Next, you want to go onto your mobile phone and get the GoPro app, make sure it's connected to your GoPro and then press go live. And then you'll get an option to choose where to stream to and click on RTMP at the bottom and then you'll be taken to this screen. And then you have to enter the RTMP URL, which is just going to be the same as what you entered on Streamlabs. So RTMP colon forward slash forward slash your IP address forward slash ABC forward slash XYZ. And then that's it really. And then when you press go live on the GoPro app on your phone, hopefully the feed should come through onto your server and then display onto feed Streamlabs. should come through Just onto your server and then display and on Streamlabs. Whoops, there was two audio feeds because the GoPro microphone is also recording. I don't actually know how to mute the GoPro, so I need to find out how to mute the GoPro so there's not two of my voices playing at the same time coming from two different mics. But as you can see, the GoPro footage is playing on Streamlabs. Now, the cool thing about this is we can press go live on Streamlabs and do a live stream using the GoPro footage as a webcam. We can use the GoPro as a webcam and we can put overlays and widgets on top of the GoPro footage, which is something I've been trying to find out how to do for a long time. And I think it's pretty cool that I can now put um, chat stuff and donation goals and stream widgets on top of my GoPro footage. And the cool thing about this is you can put the GoPro anywhere you want to because it's connected to your stream wirelessly connected to that RTMP server instead of, I mean, I guess you could link it to your computer using a USB cable and a video capture card, but then your GoPro has to stay tethered to your laptop all the time. This way we have a wireless solution and we can place the GoPro anywhere we want to. Now, the only problems I've come across so far seem to be there is some kind of three second delay. So I'm clicking my fingers, waving my fingers in front of the GoPro, and then it'll take about three seconds until I actually see my fingers on the Streamlabs feed. But the audio is actually in sync. The audio coming from the GoPro mic when I click my fingers 
it's actually in sync. The thing that really interests me is being able to use this setup as an IRL streaming setup. So my theory is, and this is just a theory because I'm too lazy to actually test it out and go outside with the GoPro and see if this still works. But I'm thinking that I could actually just pick up the GoPro and my phone, make sure they're connect connected and still streaming to the RTMP server. And then I could just go outside of my house with the GoPro and it will carry on being streamed to the Streamlabs thing. And I can just press go live on Streamlabs to YouTube or Twitch or whatever take my GoPro outside and then do like an IRL stream using the GoPro on my phone. All I would need is at least two connections. One, the SIM card on my phone, which is connected to the GoPro and streaming the GoPro footage to the RTMP server, which is connected to my laptop. So the laptop would have to be connected as well to the internet to be able to receive the footage and then also send the footage to Twitch or YouTube by going live on Streamlabs. And then I can have my widgets and all that set up on my computer whilst I'm out and about doing a stream or doing whatever. And you can get a Streamlabs remote control app so you can control your scenes and your widgets and stuff and stuff like that remotely from your phone. And then I'd be using an app called Speedify which lets you use multiple connections and bonds them into a stronger connection. Kind of like those live view encoders that IRL streamers use, but this is for your phone. So I'd have the SIM card in my phone and also a second SIM from another phone. And then I use the second phone as a hotspot so I'd have two connections with the GoPro connected to it and that'll hopefully mean you'd have a pretty stable live stream in case you lose connection on one you'd have the second sim card as a backup now I have tested it using Speedify and it works without any problems so I need to test it out in the real world next so I hope the video was helpful I think it's pretty cool you can use a GoPro as a wireless webcam and I think you can come up with a few creative things to do with this. It was very confusing and I found this very difficult when I first tried to learn how to do this. But once you get the hang of it, it's not really that difficult. You're just sending a stream to this server thing using IP address, you've got me like an RTMP URL. If you're new to this, it all sounds very confusing and it was for me as well, but it's not really that difficult if you think about it. If you have any ideas to improve the setup to make it more reliable, I would be interested in hearing. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.